So the next, the next presentation is going to be the Futon family of lightweight hash functions by Jian Gu, Thomas Perrin, and Axel Poshman. And Jian is going to give the presentation. My name is Jian Guo. I'm from Institute for Infocom Research in Singapore. The title of my talk is The Fondon Family of Lightweight Hash Functions. This is joint work with Thomas Perrin and Axel Pochman from Nyon Technological University, Singapore. Here is the outline of my talk. First, I will give you some introduction to motivations for lightweight hash functions. And then we will do some preparations before we can give the fonton design. First is the generalized sponge construction and followed by efficient serially computable MDS matrix. Then I will give the details of the fonton family followed by security analysis and conclusion and following works. Introduction and motivation. So why do we need hash functions? It's mainly for RFID devices, authentication, and privacy. In most of the privacy preserving RFID protocols, a hash function is required. And a basic RFID tag have 1,000 to 10,000 gates with only 200 to 2K gates budget for security. So the main goal of the Fonton is to minimize the hardware footprint and hardware throughput and Software performance are not the most important criteria, but we must keep them in an acceptable, acceptable range. If we look at the current hash functions, including the standards and Shastrik finalists, they are not helping at all. For instance, MD5, SHA1, SHA2, they are all have more than 6K Gs, and all the finalists of the SHA-3 competition has about 10K or more than 10K. And there are, recently there are many hash func lightweight hash functions proposed. The first one is Squash by Xiaomi in 2005, followed by MAME in 2007, and presence in different hashing modes in 2008. In last year, there are two proposed, Amadiro and Quark. If we look at these designs in, a, in this picture, if we draw a line at the 2.5K here, these are not happening at all. If we zoom in this, this, this area, what we can see is present quark and fonton. And we draw a theoretical optimum line here according to the corrosion resistance level. For instance, if we want to do the 32 correction resistance, we need the internal state to be at least 64 bits, and storing only one bit requires six gates. So 64 bits alone requires 384 gates just for the storage without doing anything. So we can see here Fonton is actually very close to this theoretical op optimum. So that's the motivation and introduction, and then we will do the preparations. The first is the generalized sponge construction. Sponge construction takes the arbitrary length input, pat it, and split into blocks and fit into this into this internal state by XORing into this bit rate portion, apply a permutation, and fit another block, apply the permutation, until all messages are processed. This is called the observing process. And after all message processed, the same bit rate portion, R bits, is outputted. And if that is not enough, apply the permutation again, output another R bits, and here you get sufficient many bits. The sponge construction has been proven to be indifferentiable from random oracle up to 2 to the c over 2 
caused to the internal permutation. However, the best known generic attack has the foreign complexities. If we fix C here, capacity to, to the N, both collision and second premage is required to do the N over two, but premage requires to do the N minus R. Why do we choose sponge? If we compare the sponge with the classic Davis Mayer, we can see that in classic Davis Mayer construction, in order to get R bit hash digest, we need the R bit block cipher with K bit key, and we need a feed forward here. So first we need to store M bits just to process the block cipher, and we need to keep the original value of the training value in order to do this feed forward. So actually we need to store double of the, of the states plus the key. However, in sponge construction, we only need to store M plus R bits. So if we minimize the internal states by setting R and K to be one, and then we can see that sponge actually requires half the memory. Sponge with very small R can be very slow, but this is not good for the typical use cases such as EPC. EPC is of uh, 93, 96 bits, EBC stands for electronic product code. So we generalized this sponge construction a little bit to allow this output rate to be a bit different from the input rate. So if we, and the pre-image resistance level is revised to two to the N minus R prime. So if we choose a bit larger R prime, we can do the squeezing a bit faster, but we get a bit lower pre-image resistance level. So the second preparation is the efficient serial computable MDS matrix. So MDS refers to M maximum distance separable here. So it's used uh, in diffusion layer in many block ciphers, in particular AES. It has very excellent diffusion properties. So if we have uh, a vector with D cells and if the matrix is MDS, we can ensure that there are in total D plus one non-zero values in V and V prime. This is especially good for linear and differential curve analysis resistance. So the AES diffusion matrix can be implemented in software by using table lookups, but the situation in hardware is not so, not so great indeed if we if we implement the row coefficients once and we use it for other roses, we can do this in hardware and we compute this, this, this row, multiply with this factor and update the V0. But after that, when we want to update the second value, we need the original V0 in order to compute this V, uh, update the V1. So in that case, we actually need to store the previous values. But in hardware, storing means extra memory requirement. So to reduce this extra memory requirement, we propose this efficiency serial computable MDS matrix. You just consider a matrix like this with ones in the diagonals, zeros in other places except the last row. And we multiply this matrix with a vector. What we can see is we multiply the first row with the vector, we get V1 here, and we get V2 here, and we do this. So the essential effect is that we push the, the whole vector up by one position except the last one. The last one is updated by this, by this coefficient multiplied with this vector. Here we don't need extra memory because the, the shifting and the updates can be done simultaneously. And we'll repeat this process d times so that every cell is updated exactly once. In the meanwhile, we need deep, good diffusion properties by requiring this A to D to be MDS and excellent uh, it's excellent in hardware because we do no longer need extra memory. 
It's also good in hardware, software because the same table lookup tables can be used. These coefficients can also be used for deciphering. So to just show the effect of this technique, we tweak the AES. The original AES mixed column requires about 263 gates equivalents, but with our tweak, it only requires 74 gates. So it reduces more than 30%. And furthermore, to implement this coefficient, I mean, the inverse matrix in decrypting is a bit costly in hardware, but in our case, is the coefficients are similar as in the, as in the original matrix, so it can be reused. So here is the details of the Fondon family. The states is viewed as a D times D matrix of S bits, and we have five variants of the Fondon ranging from digest size from 80 to 256. And for, for, for the first four variants, we have S equals to four with dimension from five to eight, and the last variant has S equals to eight with dimension equals to six. So the typical uh, question could be, why don't we have a nine and four here? So instead we tried, but we failed because no such MDS uh, matrix exist. So we have no choice, but choose a larger S here. And to know other details, we only need to specify the permutation here. So actually the permutation is consists of uh, 12 rounds, and each round is AES-like. It has four operations at constants, at uh, round independent, round dependent constants into the first column, and then we apply the S box to every cell. We shift I throw to the left by I position, and we do the mixed column by applying the, our special MDS matrix to each column. So if we look at the security of the Fondon, the claim security are two to the N over two for both collision and second premage, and two to the N minus R prime for premage. And the security, for the security proof, as we mentioned, the security relies on the internal permutation. If we model the internal permutation to be random oracle, then the entire hash function is ideal. And so, so it's assumed, it's assumed that there's no structural flow up to two to the n, two to the c over two operations. But even if one finds structure flow for the internal permutation, it's unlikely to turn into attack because we have set a very small bit rate where the attack have a very small degree of freedom. So AS like fixed key permutations has very good properties, is simple and simple to understand where started, provide very good security. So for Four consecutive round is provides d plus one square active s boxes. So Fonton have twelve round, so we can actually have three times this number active s boxes for any differential passes. So from that we can derive the differential and differential pass probabilities as well as linear and linear hull probabilities. So this ensures that uh, Fonton permutation is well resistant to the linear and differential attacks. So we also looked at the other attacks. So we bound attack only works up to eight rounds for the distinguishers. Cube tester only work for three rounds. Zero sum partitioner works for up to eight rounds with complexity bounded by two to the c over two. So we can also rewrite the whole system of the internal permutation into quadratic equations. But by counting the number of quadratic equations and variables, we are ensured that the current system is not able to be solved with uh, current computation powers. A slight attack on com permutation level, so because 
because every round has a round dependent constant, so it's ensured that every round is different from the other. So slide attack on operating mode. It's difficult to apply because the last padded message block is ensured to be different from zero because of the padding rule. Rotational group analysis is difficult to apply because we have S boxes instead of ARX. Integral attacks can reach seven rounds with very high complexity. So in conclusion, Fondom provides very low hardware footprint, and we also implemented this in software. The speed ranges from 100 to 200 cycles per byte, which is not so slow. It's about 10 times slower than the most of the SHA-3 finalists. So in conclusion, Fonton is very simple, clean, based on AES design. There are smaller hash functions published so far. I only mentioned published because I've heard that there's a Spongent acceptor in Chess 2011, which is smaller, maybe smaller than our proposal. So, I, But I haven't seen the paper yet. It provides acceptable software performance it provides provable security against linear and differential group analysis, and it also resists all known and recent attacks against hash functions with very large security margin. So we set up a website for the latest result. For the following work, we proposed a 64-bit block cipher, which we call LED, light encryption device. It can take any key size up to 128-bit key. It reuses the serial MDS matrix idea. It's slightly smaller than present in hardware. It's only about three times slower than AES in software. It provides sec provable security against classical linear and differential group analysis in both single key and related key model. So this is the paper accepted by Chess this year. And we also have a website for the latest result. Thank you for your attention. Are there any questions? If not, let's thank the speaker and all the speakers of the session.